dear students welcome to hormonic analysis session 2 in the previous lecture we are dealing with two methods that is type 1 we say it as pi form it is in radian then in type 2 we are dealing with theta that is degree mode so those who don't watch the previous video lecture go to the description you can find the link watch part 1 and come back here so type 1 and type 2 has already completed in lecture 1 now we are going to see when the problem is of t form and l form so before going into the session let us recall some basics what we see in the part 1 video so to find a not we are going to use the formula 2 by n summation y if you need a1 2 by n summation y cos theta if you need a2 2 by n summation y cos 2 theta etc similarly for b1 b2 you can use this formula and as i said whatever the type it is convert the type into degree mode which is very helpful for you to solve with your calculator so the formula is pi x divided by half length okay also do you remember the calculator tricks how to do it so in a single row enter whatever the data which is asked in your problem then press calc button and you can fill the table in a very simple way all the explanations are given in part 1 video you can go and watch part 1 video and you can come back for this now let us go into type 3 if the problem which contains t in my x and values in my y then it is going to be type 3 now let us go into the problem find the fourier series up to second harmonic so i need to find a not a1 b1 a2 b2 from the given table so it is in t format and we can see it is in the equal interval 0 to t by 6 so t by 6 plus t by 6 to t by 6 that is t by 3 then 3t by 6 4t by 6 5t by 6 and 6t by 6 so it can be simplified to t by 3 t by 2 2t by 3 as usual 5t by 6 and t so i said it is very important it should have equal intervals otherwise we cannot solve the problems okay let us write the okay let us go into the problem so first we write the given value immediately i'll see the end value check the y value it is 1.98 here also it is 1.98 so my starting and ending value are same when i want to count n i want to delete this since the starting and ending value are same then the interval is going to be 0 to t then my full length is going to be t and my half length is t by 2 and then i want to count n when i want to count n i want to delete the repeated value and i have to count the remaining values 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so my capital n is equal to 6 that's good so now i found my full length half length and capital n now let us go into the formula i want to convert whatever the problem it is into degree mode the formula is pi x by half length and pi x divided by my half length is t by 2 so finally i can conclude my theta is equal to 2 pi x by t so now i want to convert this t problem into theta problem that is in degree mode so now let me take this formula and apply the values applying zero will give you obviously theta equal to zero so i'm not interested to do that so i'll take a non zero value suppose t by 6 that is better when you put t by 6 my angle is going to be pi by 3 so pi by 3 is 60 degree so first degree finding the first degree is very important if you find it correct then it's nothing so we found the first degree is zero and the second degree is 60 so there would be the increment with 60 like 0 60 120 180 240 300 300 and this is deleted so now let us go into the table so as i said use the tricks first write y x and theta then you can go for y cos theta y cos 2 theta y sin theta and y sin 2 theta because we need to find up to second harmonic okay so as i said 
when you put t by 6 you can find theta is going to be 2 pi by t into t by 6 so it is going to be pi by 6 it is going to be 2 pi by 6 that is pi by 3 so the first angle is 0 and the second one is 60 degree now we have to fill the table in the increment 60 120 180 240 300 done so now as usual take your calculator do all these things which is mentioned in video one that is part one lecture and then start finding the values of each rows fill one by one to complete the problem now we can see this pause the video and start filling the table and check with the correct answer given in the screen so once it is done we have to find the fourier coefficients a0 a1 a2 b1 and b2 now once it is done we have to write the final solution so f of x is this that's it and very important in first two methods that is in theta mode or in radian mode theta equal to x so either you write the formula in x or in theta it is not going to be a big trouble but whenever we go for type 3 that is t problem my theta is converted into 2 pi x by t for my simplification i write table everywhere theta so at the end of the problem you have to mention what is this theta theta is equal to 2 pi x by t a problem over guys now let us go into type 4 if the problem is given in l form that is in number format then how to crack this the same procedure first let us go into the problem so the problem is given in the number format so now first as usual find the full length half length and n then we go to the problem we write the given values now check the y value the starting value is 9 and the ending value is 20 that means the table is incomplete now we have to go for the next increment so here the increment is 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 and 5 6 and it will be 9 so this is the complete table which consists of first value and the last value are same so now the interval is 0,6 the starting value is 0 and end value is 6 so my length is going to be 6 minus 0 that is 6 my full length is 6 now i have to find the half length that is 6 by 2 it's going to be 3 next if i want to find n value i have to delete this and i have to count it 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so my n is equal to 6 which is the non repetitive value since you see here there is a repetition i deleted so now i know my full length half length and n let's go into the problem so now i want to convert the problem into degree mode pi x divided by half of the length pi x divided by 3 since my full length is 6 half length is 3 so my theta is going to be pi x by 3 as usual don't put the first value of x because when you put x equal to 0 obviously theta equal to 0 now when i take x equal to 1 then my theta value is pi by 3 immediately i'll say it is 60 degree so if this is 60 degree now i can easily proceed 0 60 120 180 240 300 300 now nothing new frame the table and in the table write the theta value that is very important take your calculator use the tricks which is mentioned in video 1 that is part one of this harmonic analysis lecture fill the table now check with your calculated values with the screen let's go into finding the fourier coefficients a0 a1 a2 b1 b2 and here better you put a comma and write a0 by 2 that is 41.67 divided by 2 since it is needed in the formula write the fourier series formula since it is up to second harmonic just write a1 a2 b1 b2 terms substitute here and very important thing as i said you have to mention where theta equal to pi x divided by 3 that's it students problem gets over hope you are familiar with all the four methods whether the problem is given in pi or theta or t or in l form so good luck for your exams do well 
subscribe our channel share to your friends thank you see you in the next video bye bye